The newest and strangest update is here with some of the most complex and most original designs the artists are coming up with. Not to mention a weird structure that somehow became an in-game item that we will try to break down in today's episode. What's up guys, it's Godson, and if you thought the debate was over, there are still shots being fired by the founders of Alluvium. The most recent was Grant replying to a post by Michael from Star Atlas about their transparency to Web3 development. Grant replied with a sarcastic smile and said that Alluvium is the second biggest developer to transparency. Now, I don't think this is a personal attack. This is just taking shots at other projects, which is something you see in any competitive environment. Everyone wants to be the best, and we are yet to see which crypto game can deliver. So in other news, we've got more leaks today of some really strange stuff that take more of an artistic role and oddly enough, makes me second guess now if I see a face in rocks or in nature, if that's coincidence or intentional. Either way, it seems the Alluvium artists will be implementing concepts of facial structures and other dynamic objects that will be used in set dressing for the overworld. And some of these objects just look incredible from really intricate designs that seem to have more alien tones to everyday shells and structures you would see in nature. We are also introduced to a possible in-game puzzle that would involve the ranger breaking down icicles that would disrupt the underground geysers, which could potentially become a cinematic of how the ranger could escape from the underground cave that correlates with the storyline of Alluvium. We are also introduced to an example of how the artists generate and randomize structures in the overworld. Now, there isn't a lot to go on with this clip, but I believe I'm assuming they are set dressing the rocks and ground with their own objects that the artist created and then scattering them around the area so that it's randomized and looks natural and authentic to people when they go exploring. Now, the final thing we got was a weird clam that looks like a dong, and weirdly enough, people eat these. I would spare you the details, but there are videos of people eating these on camera, and it's pretty disturbing, which I think gets a well-deserved Pepe response, and yeah. That's pretty much all the leaks that we've got today. Of course, guys, I will be updating you as much as I can whenever anything new comes out in Alluvium. I will keep you informed, so keep it locked and loaded here. Make sure you check out my other videos if you wanna learn how to play survival and get high ranked. I will be starting a coaching session pretty soon, and also I will be doing my face cams very soon, guys, hopefully next week, and we'll just keep it going from there. So thank you again. This is Godson, and I will see you on the next episode.